Uh, of course, over 30 dead, probably close to 200 who have been wounded in this uh, murderous attack now being claimed uh, to have been carried out by ISIS. Um, there are a number of things that we should focus on. First of all, I'm a little surprised that the President is going to a baseball game uh, when I believe he should, had I been President, I would have cut short my visit, I would have flown home. I would have conducted calls uh, jointly with uh, heads of state and, um, and begun to assemble teams of people, intelligence experts, who can take a look at the serious uh, breaches that we have in intelligence. I would also involve our friends in the Arab community who know that, uh, that radical Islam is also intent on destroying and threatening them, and I would uh, make every effort I could to uh, strengthen the NATO alliance and to make sure that we have uh, strong cooperation uh, across all the parties who were involved in this war against radical Islam in terms of uh, developing the intelligence information that we need to be able to combat uh, these sorts of, uh, of horrific attacks. In addition to that, uh, there is no question that we have delayed for far too long in assembling a coalition to destroy ISIS. I've been saying now for a significant period of time that we need to assemble a coalition very much like the coalition we had in the first Gulf War, uh, made up of our Muslim Arab friends, along with, uh, with our friends in Europe and anybody around the world that would like to contribute to an effort to destroy ISIS, uh, both in Iraq and in Syria. Uh, with efforts not only in the air, but of course on the ground. And um, once we were able to destroy them, I think it would deal a tremendous blow to the issue of radical Islam. The challenge that we are always going to face, including here in the United States, is the issue of the lone wolf, uh, or lone wolves, small groups of people who are intent on inflicting harm. We, of course, have seen it in a number of ways here in the United States, and most recently in San Bernardino. Uh, the lone wolf is, or the lone wolves or the small cells are always difficult to detect for law enforcement. But uh, with the kind of human intelligence that we need to invest in, uh, coupled with the, uh, with the notion that all of us in the civilized world need to come together and share and see where the, uh, where the vulnerabilities are and attack those vulnerabilities, strengthen our ability to work together, I think we can find ourselves in a position of where we can be more successful. Of course, we never learn about the successes that we have through the intelligence community. I think it is very, very important that uh, uh, but we continue to stress the fact that uh, we are not uh, without capability, but the capability clearly uh, needs to be strengthened. So uh, to conclude, number one, uh, tragic that Americans, of course, eight of them now have been, have been affected. Number two, I believe the President should return to Washington. Uh, we have a major international terror um, uh, situation, and I think to be not in the country, rallying support behind our, our friends in Europe is a mistake. And in addition to that, to make sure that we develop the worldwide intelligence capability that can allow us to, um, to be able to seek out who these people are. And finally, we need to move aggressively against ISIS, uh, both in the air and on the ground, and to destroy them and continue to fight the battle against uh, this kind of raz radical Islamic uh, activity. And what I, I, I would say is that um, the idea that we are in any way um, relaxed about this is, is unacceptable. And when I say that, I mean we, we just have to be put all of our focus on this. Because if we do not put all of our focus and attention on these kinds of matters, ultimately we're going to see even more activity in the United States. Even though it should be made clear that when people die and bleed in Europe, we die and bleed a little bit right here in the United States of America. I'll take some questions. Dr. 
What do you say to Minnesota Republicans uh, who voted for Marco Rubio? Well, we'd like to have their support and anybody else's support. The fact is, is that, uh, you know, I'm the last uh, uh, governor standing and also the one with the, the most experience both in foreign policy and we'd commend to you the speech I delivered at APAC yesterday and along with uh, domestic policy success, balancing the federal budget, uh, cutting taxes, going to Ohio, uh, turning a state that had lost 350,000 jobs into a state now where we're up over 400,000 uh, jobs with rising wages and, uh, and running surpluses where we leave no one behind, the mentally ill, the drug addicted. Uh, I don't believe anybody will have enough delegates to get to the convention. Thank goodness I won Ohio. If I hadn't won Ohio, uh, I think Donald Trump would be, a, uh, would be the person who would receive the delegates, but that's all been stopped with his defeat in Ohio. And uh, we're campaigning all across the country, and for the first time, Really, since I've been in this race for the last three weeks, people are beginning to understand that my name is John Kasich and not governor of Ohio because I had been largely ignored. But now, uh, with the attention, we feel very good about where we are, and we're going to continue to move forward and compete in all the remaining states. And the convention will be nothing more than an extension of this political process. And, um, you know, the, the, when we get to a convention, delegates are going to consider two things. Number one, who can beat Hillary Clinton in the fall? And I'm the only candidate, according to all the polls, who can actually beat Hillary Clinton in the fall, which is, I think, what our purpose was. And secondly, they're going to stop and they're going to think about who actually could lead this country, who could be president, who has the experience and the know-how to bring people together and get it done. Governor, what are your target states in the remaining primary and caucus what are the, Every state there is. What, what do you, who, which ones do you feel are your best, job, best chances to win? Well, I, that's a kind of a process question, but, you know, we, when we move to the east, we get to California, we think these are all possible. And we're going to, you know, we, we don't kind of look at it like we, we should decide which voter isn't going to like me. Uh, I think what I've found is when we go places and we spend time and we focus and people get to know my record, my experience, you know we're we're very uh, we're very effective. So I mean, part of the of the challenge for us has been digging out of uh, basically obscurity. So uh, we intend to compete across all across the country, and there's no place that I would go where I would think, well, I don't want to go there, you know, because that won't work for me. Governor, how would you contrast the way you would respond to the attacks in Brussels with with, with the statements that Senator Cruz and Donald Trump have put out? Today? Well, what are their statements? I don't uh, know. Uh, Senator Cruz has said that we're at war with radicalism, and uh, Trump has said that uh, uh, Brussels is a mess, and he stood by his uh, statements that we should exclude Muslims. It's, I mean, contrast for me the way you would respond to this. I think I heard also, is this true? I don't know whether this is true or not, but Cruz said we should start patrolling Muslim neighborhoods or something. Is that, is that true? Well, look, my sense of it is, is that, uh, you know, we are, we are not at war with, with Islam. We're at war with radical Islam. Uh, we're going to need to have a coalition of people, um, both Arab Muslims, who are going to join the coalition to destroy ISIS. The people in Egypt, the people in Saudi Arabia, in Jordan, in the Gulf states, all know that, that they have an existential threat from uh, radical Islam. Secondly, um, you know, in our country, we don't want to create divisions where we say, okay, well, your religion, you're a Muslim, so therefore we're going to keep an eye on you. The purpose of what I said earlier in terms of counterterrorism task forces and intelligence is to make sure we root out those who are radical. And I think I noticed today that, uh, uh, that I think the government has asked the judge to suspend the hearing on Apple because they think they may have found a way to be able to get this information. I don't have any details about it. But uh, look, the civilized, it's the civilized world versus though that, those that represent a culture of death, which is the, the radical Islamists. But just because you happen to be a Muslim doesn't mean that you are a radicalized person that wants to destroy somebody in the West. Um, I do think it is important that we are able to have the intelligence to uh, let our, our law enforcement and intelligence officials know who is radicalized. I mean, that's a given, but uh, the last thing we need is, is more polarization because, frankly, for those who want to preserve Islam as a, uh, as a religion that is not at war with the West, we alienate them. How are we supposed to ever get the information we need, that law enforcement needs to get the information we need? 
And um, so, you know, right here in, in Minnesota, you have a, 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 a significant population of Muslims. I don't believe that all these people who are living in Minnesota are somehow intent on trying to destroy our families. So, you know, in a time like this, this is a time when you have to keep your cool. This is a time when you have to have a good action plan of how to move forward. This is a time where you have to remain strong, uh, but not a time in which you should let your rhetoric take advantage of a situation where people may be frightened. This is a time for real leadership. That's why I'm disappointed. You know, I, I mean, I'm, frankly, I don't want to over-dramatize over this, <clears throat> but I have a hard time understanding. Well, let me put it to you this way in the positive. If I were in Cuba right now, the last thing I would be doing is going to a baseball game. I would be going back to Washington and assembling all of my advisors and all of the leaders of the world, the civilized world, to say, okay, folks, we can't, we can't delay any longer. This, this threat is growing more intense and bigger every day, and we're all in this together, and we need to work together to begin to address these problems and solve, these, and solve this issue. And I think we have been uh, too lax, uh, not aggressive enough against this kind of uh, radicalism. They're not going anywhere except at us. We've got time for one more question. Governor, you finished why you came to Minnesota to fundraise today? Well, because uh, there's money to ra be raised here. That's why. <laughs> why do you think I came here? Well, look, I'm not just here to raise money. I, you know, look, I've been here many times. I'm here with my great friend Tim Penny. Uh, and a group of very successful business leaders. And I, I think when they look across the field, I mean, the field isn't that big now, it's down to three, they really say, who can win in the fall? And who has both the domestic and the foreign policy experience to run the country? Uh, because we can't, it's just, you know, more than ever here with what we saw today in Brussels, uh, this is not a, a job for um, a position for somebody who needs to get on the job training. These are very serious matters. And no one should be confused about the, the nature of the reform that I've presented throughout my whole lifetime. I am not a figure from the establishment. The establishment has battled me most of my lifetime, not only in terms of balancing the budget, but also reforming the Pentagon and the things that I've, I've done in the state of Ohio to shake the system up to produce greater job security, higher wages, and a better future for our kids. So I'm here because it's, it's great to be here. and. Um, I'm sure we'll be coming back, so.